Okay, so we just talked email notification settings in Google Classroom. Now we're going to talk about your Gmail account. So with your student account, you have a Gmail account. So there are um, two ways that you can go about getting to it to check it. You can open a new tab and go to gmail.com. You can also click on the apps launcher in the right hand side. It looks like a tic-tac-toe. We're going to click on that or a waffle and then we're going to go down to Gmail. This Gmail account is for your student.gccisd.net account and these as you can see are all of the emails that I've received from Google Classroom telling me um, that people have resubmitted or somebody has added a private comment or submitted late etc. So all of those emails come here. So there's a couple of reasons why you want to make sure that you check this account regularly because students could be trying to communicate with you and you don't want to miss it. Um, it's also insanely, I don't want to say, let's see, it's also a lot easier to find and reply to comments via the email notification than to go try to search through your Google Classroom for if a student left a comment you're going to miss them. So what I can do is I can come down, let me find one where somebody submitted a comment. So um, let's click on this one. So Daniela added a private comment, so I can click on that email. And if I scroll, it's going to tell me exactly what she did. So she added a private comment on this assignment, create your own clips video assignment. It tells me the actual comment that she made. And then if I click on this reply button, it's going to open a new tab. It's going to take me to that assignment. It's going to take me to Daniela's work in that assignment so that I can then read that comment and I can comment back to her. So rather than try to go sift and search, this makes it a million times easier for you. Same for the kids. So if the kids get this um, email notification that you left a comment, a private comment to them, they can do the same thing. They can simply tap reply and then it will let them reply to that comment instead of trying to go hunt and find where you um, left a comment. So that's one of the great benefits to um, using the email notifications in Google Classroom and then using your Gmail account. Now one thing is that some people don't like having two different places that they have to go look for their email. Completely understandable. So if you don't want to keep them separate, some people like to keep all of their Google Classroom stuff in one place. Some of them like to keep everything else in another. You get a million emails as a teacher, as a staff member. So keeping them separate is a smart decision, but some people don't want to miss things and forget to go check that Gmail account. So what you can also do, this is another suggestion, is to forward your student Gmail account to your main Goose Creek email address. And so all of these emails in Gmail would then show up in your Outlook account. They're still saved in your Gmail. So I have my um, email forwarding turned on. So you still retain a copy in your Gmail account, but it also goes to your main Goose Creek account so that you don't miss anything. So it just depends on how likely are you to know and remember I have two email accounts that I need to check, especially if you're using Google Classroom. Um, your students are gonna be utilizing this and so you don't want to miss anything that they could possibly be sending you. And since all of the classroom notifications are sent through Gmail, um, it's really important that you check it regularly or forward it to your main account so that you don't miss anything and miss any communications with students. So if you do want to forward your email, what you are going to do is click on the gear symbol, the settings up in the upper right hand corner of your Gmail account. We're then going to click on see all settings. Then up here at the top on settings, you've got um, different tabs. That's what these are. Even though they don't look like tabs, they're tabs. So we're going to click on the option that says forwarding and pop slash IMAP. 
Once we click on forwarding and pop slash IMAP, you're going to get a bunch of other options. Um, this looks like another language. That's okay. We're going to stay at the top. So where it says forwarding, we're going to click on that button that says add a forwarding address. So we're going to click on that. And then you're going to enter in your main at gccisd.net email address. Okay, once you click next, it's going to open up a new tab and it's going to confirm, is this the correct email address? So double check and make sure that you typed your email address into the box correctly. If it is correct, you're going to tap on the proceed button. And then it gives you a notification. A confirmation code has been sent to your email address to verify permission. So click OK. And then we are going to go to our Outlook email address, our Outlook email account. And you should have in your inbox an email from Gmail confirming that you want to um, forward that email on and it gives you a code up at the very, very, very top. So that confirmation code is what we are going to copy and then paste back into the browser. So you can either copy paste into the browser or you can click on this link to confirm. So I clicked on the link and it's saying, please confirm that you want to forward lori.roberts at student.gccisd.net to my at gccisd.net and I do so I'm going to click confirm and so now it says the confirmation is successful and now anything sent to my lori.roberts at student.gccisd.net email will now forward to my main email box and so I'm going to refresh this screen on Gmail and now you'll see that if you're said disable forwarding go ahead and click on that box and make sure it says forward a copy of incoming mail to lori.roberts and mark this Gmail copy as read that way I know I've already read it I've already taken care of it um, because it got forwarded to that other inbox Save changes. So look, it came to my inbox. It's marked as red because it's not bolded. And if I go to my inbox in Outlook, there is my email. Okay. So if it didn't come through for any reason, just go back into your settings and then see all settings. And then again, forwarding and pop IMAP and make sure that that radio button for forwarding does have, um, it is highlighted. So forward a copy of all mail and then go down and click Save Changes. So now your email, your notifications from Google Classroom will come up into your regular Goose Creek email. Again, if you get a lot of emails in your main email box and you have a tendency not to always check every single email that comes to you, I would suggest that you may want to leave them separate. Um, but if you stay on top of your Goose Creek emails, you may want to go ahead and forward it over. It's a preference, it's up to you. Just make sure that you're checking that Gmail account, whichever way you wanna do it, um, because students are probably sending you emails and Google Classroom is probably sending you notifications that way. So that is notifications. Mm -hmm.